painting the picture, painting the picture. So this is my art piece. For our daughters. Let's go back again. How much they've experienced since opening the doors. This is my past. and I have the honour to be the Chair of City of Sanctuary Bolton. Uh, City of Sanctuary is a national organisation with many local groups including ours and we try to create a culture of welcome and hospitality for asylum seekers and refugees. We work closely with local organisations um, to do this and with partners to create opportunities for asylum seekers and refugees to take part in a range of activities including events, walks, visits and projects with others. Bolton at Home has funded our most recent project, Different Paths Shared Futures, and participants have come from a range of diverse backgrounds. Um, it's been an exciting art and storytelling project based around the ancient Indian art form of Potagan and delivered brilliantly through the constraints of Zoom by our facilitators Fajana and Sayim. Many thanks to Bolton at Home for their funding and support. Also thanks to our partners at the Library and the Museum for enabling filming and hosting performance and exhibition. Also thank you to the Station Partnerships for letting us put on the exhibits and performance in their space. A big thank you to all participants for their enthusiasm, talent and commitment. Three. Painting a picture, painting a picture, Potter and pictures together. Our past may be different, we come to the present and now shape our futures together. We all share our memories, the light and the darkness, our hopes for a world that is better. Painting a picture, we're painting a picture. Partagan pictures together. So Potagrans are an interesting art farm that we've adopted for this one because it's about personal stories and storytelling. Um, and everybody in the project has had their own story and their own beginnings of how they came to live in Bolton. Red terraced houses, cups of tea, trains pass to and fro, to and fro. Outside a spreading chestnut tree, a swing hangs, suspended in time and space. I rock to and fro, to and fro, the bow creaks, a rooster crows. Soon he will escape to be chased down the cobbledy back street. To and fro, to and fro, mum's apple pie cooks in the kitchen. Apple pie and cheese, a northern delicacy. The rope turns, my sisters swing. To and fro, to and fro, dad's pipe smoke. Old Virginia drifts through the window. To and fro, to and fro, to and fro, the ten shilling note is still waiting for me to lose it. I will swing the bag to and fro, to and fro, to the corner shop. The note is lost, I cry, but mummy's not angry. 
We have tomatoes on toast for tea. Volvo Estate 360, built like a tank, built like a TARDIS. In go the flip-flops, the buckets and spades, the tiles and the cosies, the sun hats and nets. We're off to Hastings for weeks by the sea to stay in the house of my friend Hilary. We leave really early, there's just me awake. I head to the south, drive with only one break. We arrive on the West Hills, same routine every year. We chase down to the old town, chip salt, vinegar, fishing hot spots and shingle, took me shove on the pier. My three girls clutch their money bags, saved during the year. We collect shells, eat ice cream, build some castle, swim, play, mini golf, trampolines, rides, rubbing sun cream each day. The sun always shines, eat ripe figs straight from the tree, fireworks light up the sky. We're in Hastings, we're free. So, um, this is a picture of my past. I came from East Africa to Bolton and my earliest memory is of cold, windy nights with windows clattering and of me and my sister listening to my grandmother telling us stories. She felt all warm and snuggly. In the background, these are working cotton factories that loomed high and poured out smoke from their chimneys and made the air all smoggy. The two, the, this tree represents a link to Africa, where I come from. I came as a refugee, and it's a feeling of roots from this exile and this escape and this newness and this strangeness in this cold land. And this is a song that I remember. It's an East African welcome song. And I was hoping to get a welcome in the UK. Jambo, Jambo Bwana, Habari Gani, Mazuri Sana, Wagemi, Makwana Bishwa, Yuke Yetu, Hakuna Matu, Mutata. I think what's really useful about using different types of art forms um, like this is that everybody comes from their own background and their own traditions and their own cultures and they can represent them uh, through their creative work and, and that's a great way for people to share their own uh, rich diversity and but also for other people to appreciate what um, immigration into Bolton and what diversity in Bolton means for Bolton and why it enriches it as a town. So it's about appreciating each other, um, what we all bring to Bolton, um, what our, our talents and our, our culture is um, and I think that helps, uh, understanding each other helps with inclusion and it also removes some of those barriers is people um, often see what's different um, as, as something to be afraid of, whereas when we do work like this, we see what's different as something to celebrate. So this is a picture of my present time now. So my present is dominated by lots of grief and lots of memories. I lost my father last year and I really miss him. He was the kindest, gentlest man that I've ever known. He was so soft that not even once in my lifetime did he ever shout at me or made me cry. He was just soft as marshmallow. He taught me how to write my name, and towards the end of his life, I taught him things. I looked after him in the last three years of his life, and I got to know him, not, not just as my father, but as a man in his own right. This tree represents his unfulfilled, unfulfilled dreams, and also his dreams for his newer generations. He loved cars, therefore, there's the spanner. He loved mending and tinkering, and he loved it and he was the best mechanic on the block. There's a story of Covid. So this is the Corona and the Deceiver. So it's got a royal name and it looks like a crown, but it's not a good king or a queen. It's evil and it's taken over the areas and the skies and the earth and the spaces that we live in, in our workspaces, in worship, in play. There's nothing left. It grows its tentacles. It has taken our loved ones, wiped our generations, given no time to grieve, to mourn, to remember loved ones to give their final kiss, their final touch, that has all been denied. Where has it come from and who is responsible? Look what we've done to the world. Look what we've done. I can't breathe anymore. My lungs' breath is strangled. The other thing I suggest is that um, allow people the freedom of expression by giving them more choice. So I think what's really worked well in our particular project, Different Past, Shared Futures is that everybody brought their own interpretation to the work that they wanted to do. So we've had different forms of art, different ways of painting, drawing, expressing themselves. We've had people who've written poetry. We've had people who've written short stories. We've had people who've written and performed the songs. And I think giving people that wider range of choice is what's made this particular project so successful. Um, 
So this is my art piece. Um, basically, in the first image, um, a lot of people when I was younger told me that I shouldn't go into acting um, because it's a really stupid idea and it's not really a proper job. So, you know, but it was something I really wanted to do. So, hence, well, I kind of wanted to carry on with that, just like people said. Acting and writing have always been my passions, but people got inside my head. Voices telling me I'm bound to fail, and so I let the voices win. And, um, so the second image is uh, where instead of doing it, going to acting, I decided to go into animal studies instead to you know, do a proper job because that's what people have told me to do. And it was one of the only things I was really passionate about, working with animals. So hence why I went into animal studies. Um, my name is Amina Shaw, and I'm here to do a presentation on a community arts project we have been working on called Different Past Shared Futures using the Peter Gan art story storytelling technique. So um, I'll first read the little piece I wrote because I centered my piece on dreams. I'll first read it and then go through the artwork to show you how the poem translates to the painting and art. So let me just start. Dreams. I used to be a kid with big dreams. As a kid, it's easy to dream. It's like the whole world is in the palm of your hands. In fact, we were encouraged to dream. I remember exactly, excitedly saying to whoever cared to ask that I wanted to be a doctor when I grew up. A dream, I'm sure, stems from being in the hospital for the greater part of my childhood. I guess the kid in me saw them as heroes and I wanted to help others as I was helped. But alas, a dream was all that it ended up being. Because life as we know it comes with a whole lot of unexpected surprises and unexpected turns that squash those dreams before they could become a reality. It's funny how you can go from wanting to be something big to only wanting to be safe and free. For now, I am in a place I never dreamed of being, waiting to be released so I can finally maybe begin to dream again. So this is my art piece. Uh, on the first picture, it shows the loss of a loved one as when I was younger and my sister passed away and um, I was in high school at the time and my teachers at high school thought I'd never pass my GCSEs, they thought I'd fail. So on this side it's the, the balance of me, them telling me I wouldn't succeed to me passing. Um, the poem to this frame is the loss of a loved one is at being shot with a gun. The leaving school almost done. Assuming I would fail is no fun. Maybe have some faith, I am gone. My siblings had children. Um, four children, that's her. And my best friend had a child who I am now the godparent to. And it's brilliant. Um, it's the best thing to be an auntie. Um, so, the poem. I wrote for this is my siblings produce some offspring, the joy ch the children bring, making them happy, being their lives makes me want to sing, even when they're being crappy. I then graduate, uh, got all my assignments done for university. I worked tirelessly, like any good student does, and I got them all done. So it's one down, five to go. How much more? Script is finished, time to upload. Time to face the rest of the world. The other thing about diversity in arts is that we don't need a shared language or a shared experience to express ourselves creatively. Um, so that's a great way to encourage people to take part. Hello. Good afternoon. This is my past. I don't like to be in my reply but connecting the current situation in our country Nicaragua. Currently our country is under a dictator regime where the population suffers 
persecution, see aggression, imprisonment, and poverty. For not supporting dictators or even for thinking differently, an experience that we have to a to little, little girl. For that had reason, we had to flee Nicaragua. For few reasons, we had to flee Nicaragua of losing life or freedom. Yasmin, just talk me through your artwork because it's, it's, there's lots of different things here. Uh, yeah, um, this is my childhood. Uh, in primary school where we used to Father Christmas uh, coming every year. Yeah. And then the books we used to read was the Mr. Men. I remember the Mr. Men. Yeah. And then our street where boys used to play football. And then we used to have a, an Asian shop um, where there was a mannequin that used to... It used to stand out to me and I used to always look at it because it's so different to, you know, how I'd grown up and... So was it the clothes or...? Do you yeah, it was yeah. the clothes and it was the smell of the shop as well. It had a very different smell from everywhere else. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. They say smells are good for memory, don't they? Uh-huh. Yeah, and the jewellery as well. If you look, look at the jewellery, there's yeah. a lot of bling in that shop. Yeah, beautiful mannequin. Lovely. Yeah. So what? this one's very different. What's, what's going on here? Well, this was where we were told that as a child that uh, a lot of the girls in my um, generation weren't allowed to talk to boys. Oh, I and see. And they weren't allowed to have boyfriends. And if they ever did, they'd be shipped off abroad and get married. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So that was the punishment for talking to boys? Yeah. So, good boys are hard to say. It's time for a new adventure. Maybe we will meet again. So until that day, I'll say a fun farewell and I hope to see you soon. I say hello to you once more. Uh, to you once more and begin to act again. The stories may be different, but the passion is still completely true. As I begin to learn something new. Now, I said, obviously, when I came back to the Octagon, I volunteered with um, the Sound Seekers and Refugee Group. Um, and that was, for me, that was really different because I've never worked with, you know, those people before. And so it kind of made me perspective on basically how different our lives are, what we can in a sense still connect all the things and like I said I might have learned some very different stories and essentially how lucky I was just purely based on the country that I was born in and that I never had to grow up feeling certain things and so it really has opened your eyes a lot working with asylum seekers and refugees and it's I feel personally it's really rewarding because I feel like I'm a better person because of it Everyone is equal, no, we don't get people. Gay pride is like a sequel, time to catch up with people. Being young was peaceful, but it was once illegal. Being bi is available, doesn't mean I'm not able. To bring stuff to the table, I am deeply grateful. So my future is unknown. I'm not sure what I'll do when I finish university again, I don't know if I'll get another dog, like goes, or Never will be out for a drink without wearing a mask. Um, so my future's kind of questioned. Um, what will the future hold? I haven't been told. So how will it open? It doesn't matter, it is sold. It will be bold. Everyone will get In this case, it's my present. In this problem, it's where the new life in the car and the new thing. And we are very grateful to this beautiful country and we feel safe but we can walk freely through the streets without fear of being. This is my future. I would like to explain that at this time we feel happy and secure in this country. 
and in this wonderful country that has opened the doors to use and credit with good security. We dream of a future for our daughters, for our daughter full of security, peace and better life. So now my only prayer is, regardless of whatever I find myself doing, I hope I'm happy. Surrounded by people I love and who love me in return, doing things I love. For I've come to realize that in life it's really the simple things that truly matter. May you be a candle in other people's lives and never the cause of their misery. May your journey be blessed with a warm gentle breeze, your path always strewn with gold diamonds and pearls. May your heart always sing praises of gratitude aplenty and thought always be full of goodness and positivity. Life is a beautiful journey if you think it's so, and you will learn that abundance is everywhere you go. May there always be someone to watch over you, pr to protect you and guide you in all that you do. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that with you. Oh, I, um, I, well, I'm asking for um, the next uh, project. <laughs> this one's not even finished. I'm asking for the next one. I'd really like to um, develop this uh, more, and, and I think just the friendships that have been built with the project, and just the ideas, the creativity that's come out. I think it's um, a force for change, and I think it changes you as an individual, but also feels like you're part of a family and a community. And I think um, basically just just to, just to see your artwork, and like for you to kind of think that, or you know, that you're able to do it, that. You know that you're a visual artist for example it's like i never saw myself as a visual artist i like to have these kind of um you know skills is just um amazing and i just like, love to develop it. and i think um the force for change and how it kind of develops you i think how i was at the beginning of the project um i had like lots of things going on in my life i wasn't sure in terms of what i wanted to do with my life. and i think being a part of the project has given me um, a way forward in terms of other things that I'd like to explore in terms of my work, my personal life, my creativity, just lo in lots of different areas. Together we will play, act and sing. Together we will move, dance and paint. Together we will travel, eat and hug. Together we will write, read and laugh. Together